In this video, we're gonna show you how to make a pop-up message just like this. We're gonna show you how to do this really simple, really fast, and using elements, or it's only gonna take you a couple of minutes. I'm gonna show you quickly, step-by-step. Step. What's up, everyone? I'm Jeffrey with Lightbox, and this is Building Businesses with Elementor. This is where we focus on growing your web design business and learning to elevate your Elementor skills. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so first things first, you gotta have Elementor Pro in order to do this. So if you don't have the Pro version, stop the video, go get it real quick. We got it, the link is in the description. It is well worth the value, so pick it up and come right back. All right, let's go ahead and dive in. And for this one, it should be done really quick, so I wanna get this done within just a couple minutes. So let's go ahead and go to our back end right here. All right, navigate to the left-hand side to templates right underneath Elementor and select pop-ups. Over here, we're gonna to wanna to add a new pop-up. Make sure now this stays on pop-up and give it a name. We'll call this one Quick Message. All right, now you're gonna have an option to add pre-built templates already in here. And these are super helpful. Uh, later on if you want to just make quick pop-ups but I'm not going to show you that this one because I think it is really easy to do and would be more helpful to learn how to build one of these from scratch plus it's easy all right cool let's just go ahead and click off right here now we got our section right over here and it's going to be just like a regular Elementor page we want to select on the row and we want to choose our row how many columns do we want it we're gonna keep this one simple. We're just gonna select one column since we're only gonna be adding a title, a paragraph, and a button. And let me click off my, my chat bot right over here. All right, now the first thing we we'll wanna do is we wanna set up the pop-up settings. And this could be a little tricky because the settings button is all the way over here on the bottom left-hand corner. It's a little hard to find. But once you know where it's at, then you know where it's at. Okay, so we select this right here. And now we got to do our settings. So we could choose the width of our pop-up right here. I want to make this one big. Let's make it big, easy to read. Uh, you can select your positioning. We want to keep it in the center and in the middle. Your overlay, let's keep that on. That basically is the background, giving it that dark look and it's great UI, it makes it easy for the user to know, hey, this is a pop-up. And make sure you keep this close button on. Uh, we wanna make this user-friendly and we don't want it to be annoying. Let's go ahead and add a simple animation. Don't do anything flashy like bouncing and zooming and all that stuff. Uh, we wanna make this, uh, we wanna make it clean. So just a quick fade in and we want to have a quick fade out. So that way it just got a clean little transition. Nothing uh, weird. All right, so then we go over to our style. Now this is where we could change the background of it. Uh, we could change uh, the overlay color. So we'll see the overlay color, like we want to have our, our brand color for it. And then the close button. Uh, Here's a close button right here. We're gonna come back to the close button at the very end, and I'll show you why when we're finished while we'll do that last. All right, so let's add our elements in here. Cool, so click on this top icon here to open up your widgets. Let's slide the ones we need in here. Here's our heading. Let's add in our text editor for our paragraph, and let's add in our button. Okay, I'm gonna take a second, I'm gonna style this up, and then we're gonna come right back to it and continue. Now that we got this built, there's one last thing we need to do, which is a close button. And you can see here, it's small and dark and hard to read. Now, the reason why I say the close button for the end is because I feel the close button is very important. It's important to make this so it's user-friendly and easy to see. And until the pop-up is styled up, we don't know what it's gonna look like. So let's go back over here to our uh, pop-up settings. Let's go back to style. 
select on the close button here. Let's give it a color and make it white and let's make it bigger. And we'll make it, that's a good size. All right, so now that we have everything styled, it's ready to go, it's time to publish it. So select on the publish button right here. And now you have your options on basically how is this going to show on your website. So first one is the condition. Uh, it automatically gives you the option to show your entire site. If you want though, you could uh, give it the option for just a page, just a post. We're gonna keep it simple, show the entire site. Select on next. Now we got the triggers and what this is right here, this determines uh, the, the, the event that triggers this pop-up. Again, let's keep it as simple as possible and we're gonna do this on page load. So select page load. And right here we get the option to set how many seconds the page is loaded when does this come on. So we want to give a bit of a delay because uh, you know you want people to come on your website and be able to see your website and know what website they're on, then have the pop-up come up instead of the pop-up immediately covering uh, your website. So give it two seconds, that's a good amount right there. Select on next again. And now these are, so how many times is it going to show up? Is it showing up on specific pages? Um, there's all kinds of options. Again, let's just keep it simple. We're going to select the show up on X times. So what this does right here, this means that we could choose it so it just shows up maybe once or twice per user. We don't want to annoy them. I like to just keep it one time. So that way, if you have a new person to your website, they'll get the pop-up show once. It won't show on other pages. It won't show every single time they come to the site, just once. And then save and close. And now you're good to go. Now there's a lot of reasons why you might want to add a pop-up to your website. Normally, they're for like marketing campaigns and promotions and, and capturing leads. But in a case like this, when we're going through uh, such a global crisis, it could be really helpful just to simply put out a message letting your customers, your clients, and all your website viewers to know that, that you care and that you are still there to help them. So I hope this video helps out. If you have any feedback or comments, drop them in the comments. And I look forward to making more videos like these to help out awesome Elementor users. All right, cheers.